welcome! It is Gauntlet of Greatness time. We're in the round of eight of our Popper Brackets. We're, we've got a couple staples of the format queued up for you guys this time. Elves against Mono Black Control. So these decks have been around for a while. They've been good for a while. But at the same time, they've actually been shaken up by Eternal Masters, which just got printed. Uh, here's the, the Mono Black deck. You see Kumbaj Witches is kind of the card that you're like, what? Where are they? This is from Arabian Nights. It's a 1-3 that taps to deal one damage to whatever you want and one damage to whatever your opponent wants. Going to be very relevant to the Elves matchup. Um, I mean, the rest of the deck is, I mean, a bunch of good mono black control cards, right? You're gaining card advantage off the Ragers and the Rats. You know, you've got, you're building up to Grey Merchant. Um, another Arabian Nights card, Oubliette, is your sort of catch-all creature removal. Um, kind of crazy, weird worded. It's sort of the first uh, Oblivion Ring, and the template is crazy, because they, <laughs> they couldn't figure out what to do with the enchantments that were on the creature while you sort of imprisoned it in the Oubliette. Uh, well, no, they knew exactly what to do with it. But <laughs> then, you know, like, honestly, like, the first reading of the card, everything makes sense, but eventually they had to oracleize it, and now it's just... A whole bunch of text. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, meanwhile, the other deck, the Elves deck, uh, we saw this once before. It's pretty sweet. Um, you've got all the mana Elves, of course. You've got Nettle Sentinel mana combos with uh, Birchlore Rangers, which is kind of awesome. But you only get commons, of course, so you don't get Glimpse from Nature. You don't get Crater Hoof Behemoth. You don't really get a finisher. You kind of just have to explode and you're, you don't get skull clamp either so you're drawing cards with distant melody there's a blue splash for four copies of, of this card which is what how you refill your hand to just play more elves and uh, elvish vanguard is the new addition to the deck uh, downshifted to common in eternal masters this lets you grow both vertically and horizontally which is awfully nice in a lot of matchups so definitely a new blast of power definitely feels like it belongs in the deck i mean Fundamentally, you just play as many elves as you can and then hope that that's good enough. And, you know, there's some matchups where your opponent can't beat a Wellwisher. There's other matchups where your opponent can't beat a Timberwatch Elf. And, I don't know. Then there's matches where your opponent has Kumbaj Witches. And how many of these survive Kumbaj Witches? Not <laughs> very many. So, we'll see what happens. Um, definitely two of the, the staples of the Pauper metagame, from what I can tell. I'm going to play the elf side so you guys can watch me. I've got a match hosted. Come fight me, Shadow. I am joining. All right. Good luck. I will meet uh, you. Good luck to you. Talk more after the match. Sounds good. All right. Uh, lost the die roll. The self deck is fun, that's for sure. I, mean, I definitely recommend it. If you want to, if you like, if you like messing around with anything resembling the the legacy elf deck that you know, or the extended elf deck that was terrorizing the world years ago, this gives you all the it tickles all the same itches. No one drop, crazy. No one, do I actually mulligan this? I have nothing to do on turn one. I mean, it's pretty good, right? It's three land, four spell. It's a pre, I don't think I can mulligan. It's too good to mulligan. Maybe I'll draw a one drop. It's certainly weird not to have a one drop. It's also, it's also a little vulnerable to witches. I guess I go Timber Watch and Alyssa Lana against Witches. <laughs> Interesting. If I get to four mana, Alyssa Lana Hunt Huntmaster feels like a card that uh, do a lot of good work. Um, I think. I think I go Priest here rather than, I could go Vanguard, but then next turn I'm only playing one thing. If I play the Priest, 
then once the priest loses summoning sickness, I can play multiple things, like both vanguards, for example. I mean, the odds of him not being able to kill this aren't high, but he's going to kill whatever I play. And like long term, I care more about the vanguards. So on the off chance that it's awkward for him to kill something this turn, I'd rather on top of the priest. And it is awkward for him to kill something this turn. Great. All right, we're only going to have priest around for this turn. I can play vanguard followed by a three drop. I can play just the hunt master. Yeah, I mean, I get to play a two and a three, or I get to play a four. I think I play, well, I can play Vanguard, Vanguard. Oh, then the second Vanguard will be a one, one. That doesn't sound right. I think I play Vanguard and Timberwatch. Kind of forces him to use the witches on his turn. I could also go Vanguard Priest. If I go Vanguard Priest, then on his turn he can kill one Priest, but not the other. I get to untap and still have a Priest of Titania. I think I like that line. I mean, another removal spell, obviously, makes my life awkward, but, I mean, that was always going to be true. And he's signing in blood. Love it. Obviously, I want to go Huntmaster first. The dream is to go Huntmaster into Huntmaster, I guess? Yeah, I'm going to go Huntmaster before Vanguard. This might provoke a response. We'll see. Got it. Not actually anything I can do about that. I can get three. I guess six men is all I'm going to want anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Because he can obviously, if I let this die, he can witches down a priest. I might knock it back up to six. Interesting. So I want to go Vanguard into Lissalana. He's going to witches the Vanguard. Oh, maybe I wanted him to commit Kumbaj. Maybe I messed that up. If he commits Kumbaj, I could sneak out the Vanguard, which I guess I wanted to do. So I should have left one of these on top. Then at least I could go Timberwatch. Whatever. At least I'm going to get two Elves for my Vanguard. I don't think I can not play it. Like, he's going to get to kill something here. I'm just playing it. Going wide. Not happy that he gets to kill the Vanguard, but... He played that quite well. I mean, whatever. I like my position, but... I think he played it about as well as he could. And made it impossible for me to get a second Vanguard up and running.
if I see exactly how he's going to play it and slow roll tapping the priests, I might have been able to go Timber Watch and have Vanguard in my hand. Not that that's super exciting. Wow, that card's so bad in this matchup. Sure. Do I attack with less than a hunt masters? If I do, I'm gonna trade one for a chittering rat. And Kumbaj is gonna finish off the hunt master. So I, I'm up a 1-1 in this world. This actually sounds okay. I mean I could even no, I can't bring the team. Yeah, given that I have no creatures in my hand. And I want to preserve my overall elf count so I can kill him with Timberwatch next turn. I think, or at least be, Timberwatch can be super impressive next turn. Chat says don't attack. Why don't you guys want me to attack? I get through three damage. And my elf count is the same because he's killing Lissalana instead of killing a 1-1. I'm attacking. Three damage, clearing a blocker, and my elf count is the same either way. Four damage, even. Sad. And life gain off. That's pretty relevant too. Six life. He's doing this main phase. What is he up to? Oh, I think he misclicked. Was that a misclick, Shadow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no undo. You want what? Did, what did you want to do? No, I wanted. I didn't want to tap it. Like I tapped it, and then it just automatically said who, when I was just kind of reading it. So like, Often whatever. You can say cancel over in the text box, but that would be. Oh, no yeah. I was trying to like escape and control Z, I and either of those. There's ones. usually a cancel in the dialog box. All right. But I'll All right the only with, thing I would. I'll attack yeah. with one fewer guy this turn. Okay, sounds good. It doesn't precisely repair it, but it's as close as we can get. I was going to be alpha striking anyway. Very happy to have drawn a creature too, which means this Alpha Strike is going to work, barring more life gain. I think we went wide enough. <laughs> Rager. I mean, I guess technically it helps, but I think we went wide enough. 
More ragers. So I'm still playing like I have one less dude. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I get through for four. He can kumbaja which one, but I can deal I can hit him. So I lose four guys, but go to but he goes to one? Seems fine. This is the guy that we're pretending is dead because Shadow misclicked last turn. Right, so I think I only can put him to one here, but it should set us up to win next turn. I guess I'm going to have to decide. Oh, he's going to chump Lissalana. Okay. He's done using the witches. Right, he has to. He has to block Lissalana or he's dead. Right, right. Uh, I don't need to affect. Question is, you're tapping the witches. Of course you are. So he's going to kill Priest of Titania. The question is, would I rather put him at one or kill a Rager? I think I'd rather kill a Rager, right? He's at two, but with one fewer blocker. That just seems better for me. Especially with the witch is dead. Like if he, if the witches weren't dying here, oh, he has a disfigure. Oh, he has a disfigure. So the witches are going to survive. So maybe I should have put him at one. Interesting. Mm, that's all very interesting. I mean, he's still down a blocker, but he's up a Kumbaj witch activation. So it's almost, I guess that's mostly a wash. I have five attackers right now. Yeah, question is whether he can gain life. Four attackers. Gotta be kidding. <coughs> so this guy is pretend dead. So my four attackers puts him at one. If he activates which is he still a one? Crazy. No reason to put him... There's no reason to get three of my guys killed to put him at one. Unbelievable. I think we're going to lose this game from here. Thought we had it.
keep playing the forest out of my hand just because he has uh, chittering rats. Chainer's Edict in his yard. Crazy. Get exactly enough witch activations to win this game. Ah! <laughs> God, now how bad do rats hurt? Hey Randy, I'm going to target one elf warrior, and then you're going to also target the same elf warrior, and then we're at legal board state. Right. Then uh, we no longer have a guy who's fake dead. Makes sense. Psych, I want to win. Damage you. Had a million creatures. God, uh, talk about just after the nick of time. Ha! Unbelievable. <sighs> Cycle. Can't even get the land out of my hand. Fun game. Super interesting. He is out of stuff the flashback. He's drawing off the top of his deck. I'm drawing off the top of my deck. Oubliette. It's a lot of land. I mean, I guess it is turn 13, but still. It's kind of exciting if he can't answer it. I mean, likely he can answer it. <laughs> and he can flash back. <laughs> All right, tough but fair. Last draw step. Dead next turn. Wow, crazy game. Fun one. I really thought I had it. I thought I had gone wide enough. I don't I don't think I had a way to eke through action. And I don't think I could eke through more damage. I mean other than like I did the one attack just to get through the four. Um I feel pretty good about that. I think killing that Rager was still correct. I think. I mean, I don't think it affected it. It worked out the same way. Sideboard tech, though. Spider silk armor! Stop with the one point of damage to all my stuffs. Not really a Wellwisher matchup. Not really a... Where's the other guy? Gal. Essence Warden matchup. And then I have to cut one more. Might be melody number four. 
Melody can be good, though. Like, if I sort of briefly flood the board with elves, being able to Melody can help overwhelm his removal. card seems so good in the matchup that I actually think I keep this. Alright, I'm going to get there. Ranger's going to get me a land for turn three. Spell's not great, but... I think it might be good enough. Well, good enough to keep. I don't know about good enough to win. I don't feel like I do a lot of winning in this matchup. So, this is interesting. If I play Vanguard, I have to say go with it on, as a 1-1. One, one. He can't really punish me for that, but I can't... He can just play a Witch. I can play Sylvan Ranger, get it to 2-2. Two, two. Like, this figure's gonna kill it. I'm just debating whether I go Vanguard before Ranger. Like, if he plays Witches next turn, I'm not able to play my Spider Silk Armor. And this. I just want to get the armors down. I want to actually have a critical mass of L's for this distant melody. I think that's how I win this game. There's the witches. Vanguard. So I have four mana because the Birchlore Rangers make some mana here. If I play. I can play Vanguard Land of War and then I have two. Which means I can play. I can play Vanguard and then Spider Silk. Is I guess. No, that doesn't work. Vanguard only makes half a mana. So I'll be down to two and a half. I can play Llanowar followed by Spider Silk. But then... Well, I'm building up to a Distant Melody, so I think I am going to do that. Yeah. I mean, I can see the case for saving the Llanowar until after the Vanguard, but I think Distant Melody is more relevant here. Hello. Now what are my options? I can I can play Vanguard and then have three mana. Now right now I have three, four, five. If I lead with Lissalana, then I'll have not that much. <sighs> I can play Vanguard Spider Silk. I can play Vanguard Spider Silk. That sounds right. It takes Disfigure out of play. Well, actually, he can respond with Disfigure. So it doesn't take Disfigure out of play. 
Also, he can witch's plus this figure. Uh, whatever. I think it's Vanguard Spider Silk. Because my other option is just Lissalana. Man, spitting out elves is nice. Just Lissalana has... doesn't sound awful. Means I get more else when I play the Vanguard. Which feels distant melody. Oh, I can do armor followed by Vanguard, because I have duh, Lana War taps for green. I'll do it that way. Keep thinking my creatures is half a mana, but Lana War is special. Figure plus witches always have the ability to kill something. A tricky turn last turn. It's possible that just Lissalana was actually better. I mean, obviously, in retrospect, it's easy to say, but. Oh, that's great. The reason I was feeling bad about not playing Lissalana last turn was that I didn't have an elf to trigger her and bit off an elf and set up my distant melody. But. Sometimes the top of the deck has just what you wanted. Now then, next turn, we'll draw six. Okay, five. I think draw five. Yeah, this seems better. Whee! All right. What can I get down? I have one, two, three mana. I can use Queer on Ranger to return a forest and make a fourth mana. So maybe I go. I go just Lissalana? I mean, I force him to answer Lissalana or he's in trouble. Otherwise, I can play Timberwatch, but it's just a weaker version. Yeah, I think it's Lissalana. Returning the forest. Four. Alright. Let's see how much of this is still alive when we untap. He should be running out of stuff. Well, I guess he's mana pinched is what's really going on. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Yeah, he's, he's got a grip, but he's pinched on mana. It's just a question of can we punish him fast enough? Well, I mean, this turn... I don't have anything that really pays me off for having a billion elves except Timberwatch, which doesn't really do anything till next turn. So whatever, we just cast them all. See what happens.
this should be good enough, right? Yeah, yeah, there's nothing he can do about that. All right, else one. I guess if I, if I feed him Timberwatch as the threat that I'm forcing him to deal with, then he probably does need to deal with that on his turn, and then I can go the Solana into the rest of my hand. Maybe that sequencing is better. Still, I don't, I don't think I bring in Gleeful Sabotage in order to blow up Oubliettes. It just feels like I'm diluting my deck if I do that. Like, none of my threats are individually... Well, I mean, some of my cards are pretty good. I just... I don't want to have a handful of Gleeful Sabotages. And it's only really Oubliette. Yeah, I'm just running it. Game three, see who advances. One of these decks goes to the final four. They both feel totally reasonable. So this is, yeah, this hand's good. Right, it's virtual ranger shenanigans will get me the mana that I need, hopefully. Or I'll just leave with Lanoir, Finhorn. If he goes Witch, I go Spider Silk Armor. Man, I did not realize what a role Spider Silk Armor plays in this meta. It's really hilarious. Can I get more stuff down? So if I go Birch Lore, Nettle Sentinel, doesn't quite work, right? If I go Birch Lore, Nettle Sentinel, then I have two mana. Spend one of them. No, I don't think I can turn a profit. Like, then I can play another Birch Lore, but it's not like I'm playing another Nettle Sentinel. The only way to get to three mana is this way. Yeah, I was just trying to see. Sometimes with... <laughs> I don't know. I haven't played this deck enough to just intuit how much mana Birch Lore Ranger makes. Especially with Metal Sentinel, I always have to kind of brute force look through it. The way my next turn sets up, I can go Ranger, Sentinel, Ranger. But I think it's better to just play Vanguard. Right? Essentially, he has a turn to kill it. But if he can't kill it, then I get to go nuts. Yeah. Hopefully you can't kill this. Killed it even through a trigger.
less than ideal. I was almost ready to finish dumping my hand. Probably do have enough, right? Or am I one short? I just tapped this for no good reason. Right, I'm one short. Oh well. Whatever. Ragers, sure. Still like my Timber Watch plan. Lore, a nettle sentinel. I think it's a nettle sentinel. Go go gadget Timberwatch Elf. I feel like I haven't won a game with Timberwatch Elf since I was drafting Legacy or drafting Legions. Guys, big nine ten, take it. Two of them for next turn. Shadow cycles desperately. Do the elves play on? Do the elves defeat the mono black control menace? Of uh, second virtual ranger, right? Right. I'm not attacking with Timber Watch Elves, so I have potentially five attackers into his four blockers. So one, two, three, four, five, and it pumps for seven. So I can force chump blocks. There's no good reason to crash everything into each other. I can just attack with two, have the two Timber Watches, and set up to kill him next turn. I think is how this plays out. Because they're all bad blocks for me if I don't have Timberwatch back up. So I'm just doing it this way. I'm thinking about this wrong, aren't I? Well, I could get one creature through unblocked to double timber watch, but he's got four untapped mana, so that's seems risky. This feels like I don't know how he recovers from this. Yeah, awesome. Elves win! Elves win! Elves win! Smile? You're not smiling. Why are you oh, smiling? I'm, so, I'm also playing Agricola. So, because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I assumed it would be slightly more boring. So I felt that you might have gotten a little greedy there. I do have Crip Rat, so if I find a Crip Rat, your whole board gets wiped. I, uh, what am I supposed to do? You also have Chittering uh, Rats, so holding cards in my hand is bad. And that's true. Like, I was playing it to kill you as quickly as I could. Like, I got to the point where I was convinced you didn't have Crip Rats now. That's and now fair. I'm just playing to deny you draw steps. Like... The odds of me recovering from you sweeping two-thirds of that board are minuscule. So I hear you, but... 
Yep. But I don't think I I think I I think I have to play it that way. I don't know. I was I really I forgot to set up a uh, forty minute game, so I was like also aware of my clock. Oh, did you have a clock that we had to worry about? I was at four, I was at four minutes just because I forgot I forgot to set it up as forty. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that matchup like the Spider Silk armors were amazing. They they just shut me down. Like without right. Spider Silk armor, you've got nothing. All I have are two Crip Rats to reset and a bunch of spot removal, which gets really bad once a second Spider Silk armor uh, armor hits. Right, and I can spit out if I'm getting any advantage from like if I ever get Lissalana running. Then your spot removal just gets overwhelmed. Yeah, so you, yeah, yeah. Like I feel like I could, I can put enough creatures down. Like I feel like, I think like that match is probably fifty-fifty, and I should win the first game every time. So fifty-fifty should work out in my favor overall. Yeah. Um, I almost won that first game. You don't win the first game all the time. No, I win it a lot though. I think. Agreed. Yeah. All right, man. Th- those are great matches. I-, I would play that match a couple of times over. Like we thought it was boring in the practice game, but like well, that. Act- yeah, it just bogged down into these. Like it's it's sort of stalemated, but you're inevitably gonna win, guaranteed. Oh man, that- that's right. That first game, I was at one life. Right. One life, and you were throwing away three threes that were spitting out dudes, and I was so happy about that. Just the- as happy as I could be. But, like, still knowing that I still had to draw good and you had to draw bad in order for me to be able to turn that around. That was the uh, of some controversy in the chat. Well, the second game, uh, I certainly had three Grey Merchants, but three lands, yeah. so didn't quite work out for me. Yeah, I think, I think it's close. I honestly don't know who's favored. I think you need more Crypt Rats in your sideboard to be favored. Like, if you just had four... If I had four Crypt two, Rats, yep. Then Absolutely. I'm doomed. Like, I'm never surviving a Crypt Rat game. Right. Or or an Evan Carr's Justice game or even a Pestilence game, whatever it works out to be. Yep. 